started in. When I graduated high school with a 5.9 GPA. Hey, Mr. Brown, what's my GPA? Uh, 5.9. I was such an outstanding student that I earned scholarships to go to Hogwarts University. I'm gonna be late! <laughs> but I still had to take out a $16,000 student loan from Riser Holcomb Bank with 10% interest compounded monthly. After I graduated from Hogwarts with a degree in Santa impersonations, I landed a part-time job as a wolf trainer. Pity Pat, Kitty Cat! With my new salary, I was able to pay $200 a month to the bank back in efforts to pay off my $16,000 student loan. Hey Georgia, guess what? What? I only have $15,162 left over to pay off for my $16,000 student loan. Wow. I know. And you know how long it would take me if I just did $200 a month? How long? 133 months, which translates to 11 years and 2 months. And you know how much I would have paid in interest? How much? $10,462. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I totally understand. Landed my full-time job. One year after landing my part-time job, I landed my full-time job at the North Pole managing elves in Santa's workshop with a salary of forty thousand dollars a year. I was leaving completely independent, which means I had to start planning how I was going to spend my money. My monthly take-home pay after 33% annual taxes was $2,233.33. Time to budget! I was able to get myself an apartment at Santa's Premium Apartments with a rent of $500 a month. After I accumulated enough money, I bought myself a nice, fuel-efficient Prius, which I paid $300 a month in car loan payments. Oh my god, I can't believe I just got my new Prius. <laughs> <laughs> and I only spent around $55 a month for gas. To make sure I was not liable for beating a bad elf, I bought myself liability insurance provided by State Farm, for which I only paid $150 a month for. With my extreme couponing abilities, I only spent about $200 a month on groceries. I also only spent about $200 a month on utilities. To treat myself, I spent about $50 a month on clothes and $30 a month on any type of entertainment. After long, hard thinking, I decided to pay $500 a month towards my student loan payment and put $200 into my savings for emergency purposes. After all deductions, I would have $48.33 left over a month. Hey Georgia, guess what? What? I paid $500 a month to pay off my $16,000 student loan. Guess how long it took me? How long? Three years. And my last payment was $50.22. And with one year of my part-time job and three years of my full-time job, guess how much I paid to back to the bank in total? How much? $19,950.22. What? <laughs> hey, Georgia, guess what? What? Hypothetically, if I wanted to go to graduate school four years after I landed my full-time job and five years after I accumulated this debt for my $16,000 student loan, I would have to pay $384.55 per month to have a balance of $0 at four years after I landed my full-time job. <laughs> what?